So now this is the third part of the power supply project that I'm doing. This is the design for the voltage reference. Uh, my voltage reference is based on the uh, analog devices REF01 10 volt precision voltage reference. Now this 10 volt uh, precision voltage reference requires a plus anything above 13 volt to I think believe is 40 volt and a ground. Now but what I've done here because I, I'm going to get a negative voltage reference from this I also need a negative uh, voltage supply as well. So what I've done is I've got two voltage regulators. I've got 78.15 and 79.15. Uh, I'm feeding 20 volts from my uh, secondary, from my transformer into them, and I'm getting plus and minus 15 volt. I'm feeding the plus 15 volt into the voltage reference, and the output of that is being buffered by a uh, op amp to give me a precision 10 volt. As you can see, a 10.000 three decimal point reference I'll get here. And uh, with a bit of a circuitry on the op amp, on the second op amp here, I'm able to get a minus 10 volt with the same precision as what I've got for the plus 10 volt. Uh, this can be found on the data sheet of the REF01. There's many other uh, circuit diagrams there to do different things with the REF01, which I'm not going to go into it. You can just download it for yourself and take a look at it. But as it stands here, I've got plus and minus precision 10 volt. Now for my plus side, I'm feeding the plus 10 volt into a precision resistor divider. Uh, these are 0.01% with very good Temco. Uh, I've salvaged these from uh, precision uh, lab uh, test gear. And what I'm doing here, I'm getting the voltage divider output into an op amp which is again, um, all of these op amps are the same, I'm using what, this is what I have in my uh, in my lab, uh, I've got OPA627, I know it's not a very the good op amp, but for, for what I wanted to do is perfectly adequate. So what I've got here, uh, I'm feeding the voltage divider input to the op amp, and it's just basically set up a buffer, so here I'm getting 5.47, remember that I wanted to get my uh, power supply to go from 0 to 5.5 volt. Um, I can trim this around with, uh, as you can see here, I've got an offset trimmer here. So with the offset trimmer, I can put this up to 5.5 volt, not a problem. This is very stable. Um, if, I move the, if, if I move my power supply up and down, if I fluctuate the voltage, this not, does not change at, at all. So it's very stable. I've got a couple of bypass capacitors around here, as you can see here and there. I got 0.1 microfarad and a 10 peak uh, puff uh, capacitor here just for stability. And this is for the plus side. Now for the negative side, exactly I've done the same thing. I'm feeding a minus negative into a voltage divider. The voltage divider output goes to op amp again with the offset trimmer here. And what I've set this to is minus 1.25 there on. As you can see here, again, I've got a couple of uh, capacitor to bypass and make it all stable. So as it stands here, the output of these two op amps, I've got plus 5 point, say 5.47 I've written here, but I can set it to 5.5 and a minus 1.25. So what I'm doing now, I'm feeding those two voltages into a potentiometer, 10 turn pot, a 5K. So the positive side of the 5K will go into 5.47 and the negative side of the potentiometer will go to minus 1.25 and the, the middle wiper of the potentiometer is going again to a buffer which is the same op amp that I've gone before with an offset setting with the potentiometer to sort out the offset and that gives me output of plus 5.5 to minus 1.25 a very stable voltage reference that I can change and feed into my LM350K. So this exactly is the whole thing is the uh, voltage reference that I have and I have built this here. Excuse the crudity and the mess. As you can see here I've got the voltage reference which is down here. This is my voltage reference the output of it is going into these two voltage dividers and from the output of the divider is going to this op amp with its trimmer to, off to sort out this uh, offset and then again the output of this 
uh, voltage reference is going to this op amp to give me a negative 10 volt from the negative 10 volt it goes into this voltage divider here as you can see here and from here I am feeding that voltage divider output into another op amp to buffer that out and from that output of that is based this is what I've got over here this op amp is what I've got over here and this op amp is what I got over here now the output of these two op amps are feeding into this op amp as you can see here with this potentiometer and this is the pot that I have here for just testing it this is a 10 turn pot which is this pot here and the output of this is going into this op amp which is over here and this is the output that I get into my LM350K the whole purpose of all of this is what I explained on my second part of the power supply video the adjust pin of the LM350K needs to be very stable for your output voltage to be stable if there is any fluctuation in the volt in the reference voltage or in the adjust pin of the LM317 350K you will get that translated into the output so your output will go up and down so if you got a stable voltage reference your output will be solid as same as the adjust pin so this is what I've uh, done now what I'm, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put this into my um, PCB design software I'm gonna make a PCB for this and I'm gonna have a lot of uh, bypassing around here and everywhere on, on my circuit that I haven't put here so I'm gonna have bypass here bypass here I'm gonna put all the bypasses here and then later on once I etch the PCB I can either put the bypassing cap on or not that's something that I need to test once I make the PCB to see if the PCB design is stable or not but as it stands here as you can see here this is my voltage reference I'm gonna make one board to have all of this in it with its own separate regulators on board and um, what I need to do here before the voltage uh, regulators here as you can see I need to make another board to have the bridge rectifier and the smoothing capacitors on it to give me uh, what I'm gonna do I'm also gonna have uh, lead output at this stage at these stages and at this stage as well so I know at every stage of the voltage reference I indication to show me that the voltages are there and that the op amps are outputting what they're supposed to be outputting so this is the third video and the fourth video I'm gonna make the PCB I'm gonna once I've done the PC I'm gonna etch the PCB and I'm gonna put the parts on it and then test the voltage reference make sure it's working fine and then the last thing I gotta do is uh, put everything into enclosure and because I already tested the transformer I already tested the LM350K so this is the last thing that I need to do once I've done this then the next step of after this will be to uh, design the constant current design the current limiter basically and the limiter switch and that's for the fourth video that I'm gonna do so thank you for watching and if you like the video again give us a thumbs up and until next video which I'm gonna do the constant current design and the constant current mode thanks for watching and goodbye